but it's not building wealth. And one of the best things that you can do for yourself to build wealth is number one, get control of your time. Number two, get control of your money. Number three, learn to appreciate the truth. You may not like it, but you can appreciate it. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Be sure to get your free 19 business courses. First link below. When is a million dollars not a million dollars? I got a comment I woke up to this morning and it, it had me cracking up. Something like, what would be dope if you would show a little cash, a little some numbers, or... And I was just like, something about being a millionaire. And I started to go like, okay, let me go in. Then I was like, you know, back it up. Cram beast mode back in the can. And you know, do a little research. And dude's been a subscriber since 2014. Okay. I got a new book coming out. The book is not titled How to Become a Millionaire in 24 Months. We're going to have a conversation about money in this joint. We're going to get deep. Very fucking deep. Cut. All right. I'm going to tell you a little story. And it, it, it does have a happy ending. My first year as a commercial office furniture guy on my own. I was doing partnerships and there was stuff I was doing on my own. I did $1.2 million in gross sales let me say that again gross sales that's not profit since 2009 since i've been here on youtube i've been really talking about what's the profit what's the profit this story is the reason that i have that mindset 1.2 million uh, i made a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar mistake and some other stuff went sideways so i took home maybe 35 grand Yes. So I know that someone could legitimately have a million dollars in sales. And they go like, well, yeah, I've had a million dollars. And they're telling you the truth. They're not lying. But what is the profit? Now, this is the happy ending. I went back to my roots. I went back to when I did that deal with JDA, uh, where I was broker in their furniture, getting 50% commission. I was like, I need more used stuff. So that's what got me into the storage auction business. Uh, first year storage auction business, 200,000 gross sales, profit margin, 90,000. Okay, so let's let's look at those two sets of numbers. 1.2, <laughs> take home 35,000. One of my friends said, at least you took something home. And uh, he really wanted me to keep at it because he said, you made a profit your first year. You know, you, next year will be better and better. And, and I was like, but I just couldn't deal with the stress of always being in that. I mean, monster debt. When you have a net 30, a net 60, a net 90, that money's got to be paid really quickly. And they will come after you if you don't pay them. They're like the mafia for real. You will get a lawsuit on those kind of numbers. It's going to happen. And they'll force you to liquidate. So it was a lot of stress. I get the check from a client, go pay to my, one of my uh, vendors. It was a constant cycle. And when you hear this stuff, uh, I'm going to get back to what I see, what I call Enron math here online. I just really, really have been putting out manage your money, or your money's going to manage you for a reason. Because if you manage your money well, even if you don't make a lot, you don't go under. You stay in the game, you continue to fight. And uh, there's this lack of comprehension that you are going to become a millionaire with limited to no effort. It's just going to happen. There's this amazing system. You're full of shit. And the people who are telling you that are full of shit. I've done it. I've done a million dollars in sales, not once, not twice, done it several times. And I'm telling you, the margins, the profitability, the, that is the most important thing. 
I could right now go out and spend a bunch of money and get a million dollars on sales on Amazon probably the next four months. My profitability would be shit. I could do it and I could go like, look, look at my numbers. And every time, and I actually uncoupled myself from a group because I saw this bullshit going on. There was a guy who was calling himself a $10 million seller. This is the Enron math. Before he had made the 10 mil. Now, this is something that you could do in business that's legit. So you have a company and you have account receivables and you have contracts with people. You could go to the bank and say, look, I've got $8 million worth of contracts. Here are the contracts. You can verify they're going to pay me X amount per month. Use those account receivables, maybe a factoring company, and get money because it's legit. Now, what many online people are doing are in-run math. They'll have a good month or they'll have gross sales and then will tell you that, yeah, I made a million dollars last month. They did not lie. That's the thing. I can't say that they're lying. They did not say that they were profitable. They said they made a million dollars last month. They said they, that's what they did. They, they didn't lie to you. And that's what's going on because the guy is young and that's the reason I didn't go off and I hit him with a, a reasonable reply is, you know, when you get to the level of investment and if you can get a book, my book's going to be 200, 300 bucks. And if that book, you spend $300 and you 10 times your money, that's called incredible ROI. But what many people, based upon Enron math and, you know, when the million's not a million, expect to make a million percent return on their money. And if that's not happening, mm, somehow it's a scam. And part of the reason that you have people thinking that is you don't have a lot of seasoned business people online. You have folks who've learned the online business. You have folks who've made <clears throat> a lot of money but they're not seasoned. They're not groomed in business because they never had one. It, 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 it's just, it's crazy how many people really do this stuff. I mean, it cracks me up. I mean, it's it's just kind of crazy. Um, I see this all over the place, and one of the reasons that I'm doing this and reacting in such a manner is I'm not going to be bitchified by the bitches, which means it's a monkey see, monkey do. I am trying to educate you people on how to start a fucking real business, how to build freedom, how to have something significant and you're not going to do it for the free 99 unless you're incredibly fucking smart and if you're incredibly fucking smart you would halfway be there and you wouldn't even be watching this fucking video yeah i said that because i get mad when i see people i'm gonna give you an example this is some shit that i saw and i didn't say anything Someone put in the comments, because people were going back and forth with them, that owning a Lamborghini Ferrari, I forget the car, was not that expensive. Let me tell you something about owning one of those cars. And let me tell you why on the used market they always have low miles, for the most part. Many of those cars, depending upon if you get the automatic uh, manual transmission with the shifters on the wheels, or many people don't know how to drive these cars. So the likelihood of the clutch going out in these cars within the first 3,000 miles to the first 20 is very high. And that's a $5,000 to $20,000 deal. Essentially, to replace the clutch will buy you a good used car or a new car. And if you really drive that car a lot. so that, And when that person said that, and, the, and they get a lot of respect and a lot of people like them, and I was just like, I'm not saying anything because I've seen not one, not two, 
but three things that have made me not follow this person anymore because I know it's bullshit. And no, I'm not getting into names because as I climb this mountain of being an internet guy, the more information you get, the more success you have, the more you run into people in groups because I'm in a group with a lot of people you would know. And when I look at some of the comments, I'm like, oh my God, Becky. So part of that is this internet thing does not level the playing field. Mm -mm. The internet thing is a new playing field, new set of rules, all kinds of things. But on this whole thing with uh, the in-run math, you know, you got people who's like, hey, you know, if they're making money, I, I'm going to ask you, this is a good sign that someone is, well, this channel is really about living the life you want. Let's Let's go deeper than just making money. I do what I do to keep me free. I do what I do to have an amazing amount of control over my time. When I was a storage auction dude, I didn't have I mean, money, but I didn't control my time. <clears throat> my time was controlled by when the auctions happened. My time was controlled by a lot of different factors. My time was controlled by the storage auction facilities because I had to get that stuff out by a certain time or I had to rent the unit just things like that and you get those things so that's you know that's when a million is not a million and you know we're gonna we're gonna talk about this now we're gonna get into how to make money from a basic premise. Now, I'm an influencer. Uh, there are people who can't stand my ass, but keep my name in their mouth. And I don't ever, ever, ever talk about them. Never mention their names because they're inconsequential into the things that I hold dear and where I'm going with my life. They don't factor in because they're not even competition because we don't even do the same things. I'm trying to help you get to a point where you're living the life that you want to live that gives you abundance, that gives you freedom. And part of that is you got to learn to love the truth. You got to learn to be attracted to the truth. You got to learn to understand and how to analyze. All right, I'm going to just give you some mental tools here. All right, I'm very honest about what I'm doing. This channel was designed to cr and created to sell you products. That is the genesis of what I do. Never, ever shied away from that. Very proud of that because I started this channel to make money and that's exactly what it does. Now, there are people out there who are supposedly well off, right? They're working harder to internet market to you than I am, and this is my full-time gig. Ask yourself, why? Why would somebody who's loaded, who's making a lot of money, who's doing it well, working 60, 70, 80 hours a week to get you into this free course for you to make some money? Why are they doing that? Why, why are they hosting webinars and stuff at 10 a.m. on Saturday mornings? Yet they're already rich. They got family, kids. Why are they spending more time with you than they're spending with their families? Ask yourself that question because I call it the glitter and glitz syndrome. I'm gonna tell you something. Anybody that's doing 150 a year can fake a rich life. You can rent a Ferrari, you can rent a Rolls. I believe the lease on the Rolls is $1,400 a month. And if you do it in the corporate name, you actually are not, you're, you're going to make money on that deal. You're going to make it because you're leasing it for the company and you're using it to as a promotional deal. Um, so you can go ahead and rent a, swing, a swinging ass condo. Swinging ass condo. And that's something else too. I've noticed that all of these guys are in condos. 
no houses. No houses. There's a lot of fucking upkeep. So I understand that point. But there's only a few in my mind who are really, really legit with that stuff. And it gets to be quite intriguing when, like I said, I'm, I'm just tired of uh, hearing this stuff because I know better. And I think once you learn better, you know better your response to this stuff, how you will look at these things, how you will handle these things, uh, the way that you would position yourself would be totally different. And it gets to be very, very different when you're looking at it from that vantage point. Because one of the things that I see, and you know, we'll talk about this in depth in my courses, is what I call the Facebook advertising bubble. It's coming if it's not here. Well, there's two things. First of all, most people don't have the discipline to reinvest from a small budget and scale up because they need that money to live. If you need the money to live, it's hard to use that money to invest in your business. That's why the reinvestment tactic does not work for most people. It does. You know, you start off with five bucks a day, Facebook ads, make some money, scale up till you get to a point that you can pour money out. But if you need that money to live, you can't do it. And if you don't think that I am really on point with that, you ever heard of Aaron's Rent to Own, where people pay three and four and five times more for a washer and dryer because they can't afford to save up to pay, to pay cash for a 600, I mean, that was in Best Buy. I bought a washer and dryer last year. Entry level, good set, like $600, free delivery. You got people who can't save up for that. $600, yet they're going to see $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 in their account and not touch that money when they got needs and bills to pay? Please, get the fuck out of here. That's one of the reasons that I changed the tactics of this channel because I'm giving you what you want where you are, meaning most of you, and this isn't to insult you, and this isn't to make you feel bad, are just not prepared or even in a place where a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollar course is gonna benefit you. Because it's like you haven't done the groundwork. It, it's like a guy who's been working out for four years and then he gets a coach and he suddenly gets all kinds of gains, right? He's got a good solid foundation. I've seen that. Uh, there's a guy in my gym. He's probably put on a good solid 15 pounds of muscle in the last year and he's got a trainer. He's doing stuff that's totally different than he did before. Now he's a young guy too. That also plays a role. But you can see the difference. You can see just like every quarter. It's like he makes a, a change. You can just see the change. Now, that is the problem, and that's the reason that I came out with the guide. Because that's the number one question that I get. What do I need to sell? What do I need to buy? Because people don't know, and what they don't know is really bad because what they don't know is pretty large. Because essentially, you just got to experiment with a lot of stuff. And once again, when you have people who are in a position where they need all their money and they got to make money fast, they don't have a lot of time for experimentation. Hence the reason I'm putting out the book. Because, and it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Because you're still going to have to work. You're still going to have to put forth effort. You're still going to have to do the damn thing. You know, this this is partially educational and partially partial rant because I'm like try to stay away from a lot of people. I try to do what I'm doing because my thing is not getting rich. My thing is becoming wealthy. Big fucking difference. See, when you're wealthy, your money makes money for you. When you're wealthy, you could be in Cuba because I'm going to Cuba because I just think that culturally it's a fascinating place. You could be in Cuba making money while you're in Cuba soaking up all that culture. And also, 
I hear the internet access is pretty shitty, but that'll change in time. I'm about giving you the framework that you can start to build some stuff now to create a business that will give you the skill sets and the depth of knowledge where you can train someone later. There are many people who are trying to become trainers before they're even practitioners. And that is just fucked up. You cannot be a trainer before you're a practitioner and get the results of someone who's been a practitioner. You just can't. This is one of the reasons that I can like look under the dresses under a lot of people and go like, no, that does not make sense. That is not mathematically correct. Wait a minute, there's something wrong here. There's just something wrong. And once again, anybody making 150, 250 can floss a lifestyle for you doesn't take that much because some big house I mean my house is 3,000 square feet it's not like large but it's comfortable um, I'm in this it's an Audi S4 I get a lot of people like what kind of car is that it's an Audi S4 I got that because I've had a lot of expensive cars and I've had a lot of expensive cars just fucking blow up or do something crazy and I was like you know what I'm gonna take a break from that for now I'm gonna get something that uh, you know it's funny all the car all the cars that I wanted when I was a kid I've gone back and got just about everything there's like three more on the list I'm probably gonna get those but just to have them enjoy them and then flip them all right. since I'm doing this video I probably need to tell you some things to look out for I'm gonna give you some examples there's uh, got a new channel how to make money with video so with that I'm checking out all my competition now there are people who are literally called experts in that field who cannot who don't have a decent YouTube channel now if I came to you and said hey Joe I want to be your personal trainer, but I am five foot six, 380 pounds, and I have pimples oozing off of pimples. Are you going to give me money to train you? No, you're not. You shouldn't. And I see a lot of that stuff going on. And also, I think one of the reasons that I get a lot of flack is because I am talking about things that very few people are talking about. Like, let's go get into this thing with the Facebook ads. There's a few people who are doing video and they do not market on YouTube. And they don't market on Vimeo. And Facebook video is relatively recent. So it wasn't like, we're getting ready for Facebook video. No, they weren't. This is how it goes. Facebook, and here, here's a tip. I actually put it on my personal page this morning. Whenever you get one of those, hey, click this if you remember such and such, like an old video game or a cartoon, those are called marketing devices. You click on it, and then into a supercomputer somewhere, it takes your name, your age, your location, and everything else that you clicked on, and creates a profile for you. So it looks innocuous, but it's really <laughs> gathering data. <laughs> And many people just willingly click on it and don't really care. All right. So Facebook has this massive database of you and what you like, what you click on, all of that stuff, right? So it becomes really easy for someone to spend a lot of money and get targeted traffic. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's smart business. What I'm saying is, if you call yourself a video guy, why can't you make it do what it do on YouTube? There's only, uh, it's like two, uh, Daryl Eves, Tim Smore, video guys who actually have really good YouTube channels. There's probably some more, but those are two that I know of right off the bat. But that's the beginning. That is the playground. That is the sandbox. That is just so many little things can happen. But there's also Facebook video, there's Instagram video, there's Vine video, there, and there's going to be more. There's going to be more. But my point is, if you can't do 
what you say you can do in your sandbox, how can you help someone else? So that's your first thing. Second thing, go to their website if they have one. You don't need a website to make money. But if they have one, go to their website and check out the traffic and you know do the work. Google traffic or you know tools. How to find out a website traffic to Google that, find a tool. There's a, there's a few free ones, the better ones cost money. And do your own research. So see if the website matches. Now the website, because the thing is, you have many people who are doing everything pretty much on Facebook. Marketing, Facebook page, Facebook group. Now, this morning I woke up and I was on Facebook. And I got hit with a ton of ads. Now let's be really clear. Let's be distinct. They work. They work. That's why people are spending two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand an hour on Facebook. They work. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. But what's gonna happen is if you become overly reliant on these tactics when you have to come out and do the real work because you can't afford them you're going to be in the world of trouble so i'm saying all of this stuff that because you know i'm in a group and that's the first thing that someone says is uh facebook targeting ads of uh, remarketing uh retargeting pixels that is it people are not building organically anymore which leaves a lot of room for you to do so is it fast no it's not it's slow it's very slow it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of work but the thing is organic traffic doesn't just disappear when you stop spending just something that i think in an ideal world you'll do both but if anyone is talking about doing x y and z then look at can they do it for themselves and i will just say it if you're a video guy and you can't make it do really well on youtube which is easy yes it's easy if you know what you're doing then that gets to bring some other stuff into question i'm just saying i'm just saying because what's going to happen there are people right now who are making millions I mean millions from these tactics because they work like I said they work but how long are they gonna work and if someone's gonna introduce you to a system that is going to implode or become like New York or California real estate how workable and viable is that going to be for you in the future because this is the thing when you have a real business physical business and you have to look at numbers and you have to make a profit or your ass is going out of business you tend to look at the world in a different manner you have a different mindset you have a different perspective you have just a different way of looking at this thing because when I do business plans I don't look to the short term I want because you know the new book business plan because you should you know short-term stuff is hustle to me that's hustle you can turn your hustle into a business plan but it's going to be very hard if you don't have some forward thinking going on now one of the things let's talk about this channel uh, most of you folks are looking to make more money why because you're broke or you're close to broke or if you're not broke at the end of the month You've paid all of your bills. You paid your mortgage, your car notes, all this other stuff, and you've got some shillings, maybe you know, 100, 200 bucks to rub together after you paid everything off, and you want more money in your life. Now, part of that trip, that journey, is understanding why you're broke. And the biggest reason that you're broke, and this goes back to a business education, is more people get your money before you do. People get your money first. The government, uh, other allocations, they get their money, but they get your money before you get your money. That is the number one reason that you're broke. Right there. 30 to 50% of every dollar that you make is gone or going somewhere. So you make 100 grand, you only get the benefit from, <laughs> like, really, 38, 39 after taxes and everything. You only get to use $38,000 out of 100 grand. 
that might not be 100% on base, but let me think. 30, 100 grand, you're gonna lose 30 to 40 off the riff and taxes, then you spend, yeah, okay. Let's just say 40 something. You make $100,000 a year, but only 40 something, like four grand a month. Let's just say, yeah, let's say 48, 44, 48. More than half of your money is gone or is not available for you to use. Now, you flip off on a business, and this is, you know, once again, this is where a lot of people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, take this channel. This YouTube channel is not in my name. I don't own this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is in the name of a corporation. You, you see people talk about, I'm gonna lose my YouTube channel. All right, if this channel, something happened, could, you know, nothing's promised, I could start another one. Uh, with another corporation because I don't own it and the YouTube rules are you once you get banned i.e. the corporation that owns this channel gets banned it cannot form another one but a new corporation can did you hear me you know I'm gonna get Baptist on even though I'm not I don't believe in religion did you hear me you know this is the point where you're supposed to stand up and go amen yes sir and all this other stuff because once you learn these techniques you don't worry about certain things you have an abundance mindset because you know you can get it again or you can get more. And that this is just some of the stuff that I'm talking about when I see with this. And also, to be fair, um, maybe some of these guys only putting out a certain type of content at a certain price point because they know the market will not bear more. Just to be factual. But when you get into real business, real numbers, real accountability these the business scheme is different the business schematic is totally different and that's why you know when I saw that comment I just lost my fucking mind I was like oh here we go again I remember when I created the hustlers mindset project I got a question like is this like mix mixergy no it's not like mixergy <laughs> no it's not like mixergy Pro proprietary comes from my essence it is something that I created these processes these methodologies all of this is what I created there is no other stuff that's why you don't see it all over the internet because I have learned that, and I'll be real with you building this shit's hard but once you build it and you get it to work and it's yours it's very hard for the competition to fuck with you I mean at some point they will because there's a lot of smart people out there but it becomes really hard for them to take your lunch so to speak I mean I've owned a market for two years by myself on the internet now that's a rare thing that's a rare thing and when you do that you can make mistakes you can do all kinds of stuff and still make money but when you're playing the game like everyone else i.e. showing Ferraris renting these big ass houses that's fun but it's not building wealth and one of the best things that you can do for yourself to build wealth is number one get control of your time number two get control of your money number three learn to appreciate the truth you may not like it but you can appreciate it because as long as you continue to refuse to accept the fact that you are where you are in your life because of the sum of the decisions that you made you are forever fucked you, you're always going to be chasing this new trend uh, there's a lot of people that want me to go to Blab. There's a lot of people that want me to go to Periscope. I try them. They don't fit into my schematic. Not to say they're not good. They're not wonderful. But I have learned over the years to avoid trends. Uh, now, I am doing Anchor. And the reason I do Anchor, it doesn't matter if it's a trend or not, it fits into my schematic. What have I been doing? I've been creating audio books. I've been creating courses with a heavy audio concept. Uh, well, a heavy audio component because that is one of the best ways to learn. 
audio and video, hands down. And it meshes into what I'm doing, so it makes sense to do. This is kind of like buying equipment. You know, uh, when I was looking for computers for video, and I remember some guy told me, he said, buy what you need. And I, I just got, like, I think August, new iMac, 127 inch. And I got the i5 chip. Was thinking about getting the i7 chip. But I got the i5. Um, and it's done great. It's done what I needed to do. Now that I'm moving up to 4K cameras, I'm going to get the i7, the next purchase. Because it makes sense. Because I made a mistake and I was listening to someone. They were talking about, you know, 4K, 4K you, you going early. No, I'm not. My thinking was spot on with that. Because this is one of the reasons with um, what I'm doing with how to make money with video. I'm just telling you to get the best equipment. Because there's a bunch of folks on YouTube. They'll tell you, you don't need to spend money. You don't have to get the best camera. And I will say, hustle, artistic ability, and drive can make a great film. You've got people out there making wonderful films with their iPhone. They are. But as a video maker and someone who is at the point between training courses and YouTube channels who's made like 3,000 plus videos, limitations come with limited equipment. So you can do it. You can do it with this. But let's say it takes you eight times as long than if you went ahead and got a GoPro and was able to do it time is money so while you're trying to do it on the cheap you're actually making it very expensive because you're using your most invaluable resource which is your time to do this stuff cheaply this is what I'm talking about reformatting your mindset reformatting how you do things makes a big difference big big difference all right so that's just it that's that's what's going on and uh, just something for you to chew on. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Be sure to get your free 19 business courses. First link below.